So, um, where am I at? I guess it's been about a month. I should have kept track of me not taking Humira and just doing dieting and um, for my health for both my ankylosing and my spondylitis and I'm doing okay. So it was an accident that I started, stopped the Humira. I wonder if the pharmacy knows about it because they haven't called me to refill my prescription. So I don't know how, why they wouldn't do that, but um, I haven't called them and told them any different. So, um, have I had any symptoms? I had some very mild, slight symptoms, nothing that would show up. Like I felt something in my eyes, but if I would have went to the eye doctor, they would have, they wouldn't have saw any information. So the information levels are so low that they are only on like just a personal experience level. Um, not high enough to have shown up on anything had I went to the doctor. And am I nervous? I'm always nervous, always nervous. Um, especially about the ulcerative colitis because I just get scared that if I flare and that gets out of control. But fasting really does shut down things. Like if I start feeling a little bit too much and I don't fast completely. I don't just go only water or nothing at all. Um, I do the bone broth and that has been sufficient for me. So I just recommend that if anybody is going through something too fast and I was like going on blogs and apparently if you fast, if you can have the self-control to not eat and i know yes you can some of us are really really thin because of our stomach issues but when i go to the hospital for ulcerative colitis but when i have that's what they did they put me on uh bowel rest and that's how i got better it really wasn't medication it was the bowel rest that uh that would stop the things and they put an iv in me so you just have to stay hydrated so my way of staying hydrated was the bone broth and then kombucha um and water of course but for the most part, um, and I, I do green tea, uh, no sugar, no sweetener, no alcohol sweeteners like uh, Exitazol or whatever that stuff is called. Um, so, so far, my symptoms are really quiet. And i just waiting to see how long I can do this. But it makes me very disciplined. Um, I'm back to carrying my iodine and testing my foods before I eat it and realizing that if it does test positive for starch I will not be eating it I've always been an ingredient reader when I can um, going out to dinner with my family and my um, husband and friends that's the most challenging thing because um, it's hard to explain what no starch is and if I do no starch that pretty much does cover um, both conditions it's well uh, I also don't uh, do well with vegetables I mean my body doesn't like vegetables so I'm trying to juice again with the encouragement of a friend to make sure I'm getting those things that's going to help my body heal itself and um, fight off anything that maybe the Humira might have started because you know Humira is a tumor neurosis uh, necrosis factor blocker then your tumor neurosis necrosis factor is the part of the immune system that destroys um, cells that are trying to do something they don't have any business doing so what it also causes inflammation so the tumor neurosis factor blockers the TNF blockers the medication that we take blocks those uh, that part of the immune system from doing its job it relieves your inflammation relieves your pain but after about 10 years of your body having a weakened ability to um, destroy those tumor cells that's growing in your body well, you know, uh, my doctor didn't like, he always said that. But I said, but why is it called a tumor necrosis factor blocker inhibitor? It, it, I mean, the tumor necrosis factor, if it, it, that's the job. And if it inhibit, inhibits it, then the name is in itself. It inhibits, it, it inhibits your ability to fight your tumors. That is the name of the medication. I mean, you can't dispute that the pharmacy named it what it is. So, um, so I'm not saying I'm not going to go back on it. I mean, it, it was actually, I guess, the least immediate side effect medication. The NSAIDs, the Celebrex, the things like that, they probably contributed to me eventually developing ulcerative colitis. Oh, I am having, um, uh, I did have some thyroid symptoms and that was like after I ate like tons of candy, which I don't know if I shouldn't have ate the candy. Uh, salt water taffy, it didn't have any starch in it, but I probably shouldn't have eaten it. Um, I don't know if um, 
candy has anything to do with thyroid but I was just like so messed up the next day the extreme fatigue you know the kind of stuff that you just fall asleep like you go to pee you fall asleep on the toilet like you know your alarm goes off and it's just like you're so tired you can't explain it you try to fight it like i tried to go for a walk i was just like dead afterwards and caffeine isn't you know only green tea that's only kind of caffeine i can take in chocolate occasionally but um i'm noticing chocolate candy just doesn't seem to do well it makes me fatigued the next day and i'm assuming it's the thyroid um issues and then i also lost a patch of hair somewhere in here so that's like my fourth patch of hair and initially i thought it was the humera so now i don't think it's the humera so i don't know if it's the nutritional issue from um fasting that i lose these patches or if it's uh there is a autoimmune alopecia and i can't think of the name the correct name but if you google autoimmune alopecia you will see it so it, it definitely seems to be in line with that so i'm like do i have like four um autoimmune diseases but you know that's possible in the meantime I just you know I can function and I'm functioning the same way I would if I was on medication and um and like I was saying earlier about weight loss and uh that is a challenge but right now I don't care what size I am I don't care if my body thinks I'm yo-yo dieting I don't care if I'm going down if I'm going up I just want to feel okay and be able to go to work and and be able to not be extremely tired and not um have uh stomach problems and aches and pains and if whatever i wind up looking like that in body size in order to accomplish that i don't care so right now i am in with the normal weight i am i think less than what i've weighed in years except for when i was uh in an ulcerative ulcerative colitis flare um and uh I don't really, I'm not, I mean, I could go into numbers if somebody wanted to, but I don't really think it's important. I don't keep a scale in my house. Like, I, I didn't raise my family to um, get on scales. I wasn't raised on a scale. I don't think a scale is a proper way to look at health and nutrition. And uh, if you, now, that's just me. Maybe some people need that scale to discipline themselves because um, they need that number to be able to say, wait a minute, I'm going too far one way or the other. Um, for me that it's just never been something i wanted my family or myself to focus on as far as a weight now i will check myself occasionally on my own just to see where i'm at so i can just you know document it but i don't even know if that's important and then the doctors check it and um so i don't know how much i weigh day to day i know when i go to the doctors and um i went to a physical recently because i was like sick and i thought i had a sinus infection but they put me on asthma medication I had to take for five days. I thought that was weird, but it worked. So whatever. I've never been diagnosed with asthma. And, uh, hey, I only had to take it for five days. I've just, my problem with medication is long term. I don't have a problem with taking it to treat something and then stop. I just don't want to be on something every day of my life. I don't even want to be on a diet every day of my life, you know, uh, but it is the better alternative for me. So this is working. So my fast got sent my diseases into remission. Um, and eating properly is keeping it there. Not cheating. Not except for the candy thing, which I'm not sure because candy was never an issue for me. It's probably, I mean, I always was low sugar. But I don't want to want to have diabetes, which they say could lead. It's like something that happens after your thyroid can get messed up. So um, anyway, I will keep you posted. Maybe, I, I mean... I really don't have much to say at this point unless something changes. Um, I'm not taking any medications at all at the moment. And uh, for breakfast, I'm going to try to juice some greens in the morning time. And um, then I'm probably going to have salmon at night. And throughout the day, I'm pretty much going to keep on a liquid diet. And um, I do tend to cheat and have a piece of dark chocolate, um, which... The darker the chocolate, the less it affects me. So I'm thinking it's the sugar. Which sugar never bothered me, and I'm really upset about that. Um, and then I may have like a snack that I treat myself with these fresh mint and ice and uh, canned coconut milk. The canned coconut milk that's supposed to be the OK can, I think, is DR Roy or whatever. You can look up best canned coconut milk that doesn't have like, I don't know, cans are supposed to be bad for you, but this one isn't apparently. And it's organic and stuff. I get it from my, um, I think you can go order online and I get it from my international supermarket, local international supermarket. Um, 
So, oh, so I put mint in there and I put ice. Yesterday, I did put maple syrup. So hopefully I won't be feeling affected with the sugars. <laughs> I didn't put a lot, but I just had a sweet tooth. I have a sweet tooth. I miss sugar. So um, I want something sugar. I mean, sweet. It drives me crazy. And I don't want to start sweetening my tea, which I'm tempted to do. Um, but because I'm so, I'm finally used to drinking unsweetened tea no sweetener in it i'm just used to it and no i don't enjoy it I, I really don't like i'm trying to learn to enjoy it like buying different like jasmine i just put some jasmine green tea and then like mint green tea so i don't enjoy it i just drink it so people say well what's the point because the point is i am feeling great like other than like those couple sleepy days i i, I don't ache i don't have pains i don't have bathroom problems um and to me that's worth it you know um to me that's worth it and i don't have a swollen abdomen see a lot of times people might think that they have a belly your abdomen is swollen okay autoimmune you will realize when you fast it isn't all loss of weight your your stomach goes down because i don't know your intestines are swollen your gut is like swollen so um your stomach will go down uh because a lot of it is inflammation it is and you get rid of the inflammation you get rid of the inflammation in your gut so um anyway i didn't really go on about my diet i guess what i'm gonna have today because i've been really unorganized i probably will have a kombucha because that's what i have in the house i have fish that i forgot to take out last night or i probably would have been having fish for breakfast instead of um the green juice but i need the green juice so let me get this off so i can have time to do this before i go to work because juicing before you go to work is so hard but uh, on Pinterest, there uh, or if you go online, they have like a, I pinned it, um, but there's uh, someone put an article on how to juice uh, when you have to go to work, and so I've been trying to follow those tips, even though it kind of doesn't apply this morning because I'm just fresh juicing and I gotta figure out a way to wash my juicer. But I don't have to be at work as early as normal uh, because of a situation. Um, anyway, so be healthy, uh, do what works for you, uh, journal it, share it, so that other people can get better too.